Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations at a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pods. Oh my god, I have to get into the habit of sending you my version after. I know it's going to be a rough habit to bring back. I don't know. We won't do this for that. I'm an imperfect I, man. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Uh, he, Kevin, does come crisp, but resume. I gotta say, really glad to see him. Just at least this once. I mean, he is beaming today. Let me just say that, and we'll obviously include a screenshot uh, oh, yeah. in Wilmer because it's our promise, baby. And we're back on Zoom. Let's look flawless. Did some freaky faces, everybody. Yeah, that's going to be one of the best photos I've ever seen. Um, one of the best screenshots in Zoom history. No, probably not. Oh, what? Probably not. Um, I th- anyway. Uh, oh, some of our earlier ahead. Kevins, maybe. Okay, okay. I feel like my... Why aren't you harassing me about my mic? Because you can't see me face to face. I can hear you. I actually there do remember go. that like when we're Zooming, you're usually louder. I don't know if it's just because I can bump yeah okay i think it's because i can bump up your volume without hearing me in the background you know what i mean oh okay so that's the one upside i'm gonna have a huge voice this time it's gonna be booming it's gonna be one of the loudest voices anyway i'm julia davidovich and when i speak on this podcast the ground shakes oh my god my name is zoe clark and i have never interrupted julia in my entire life not once (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> beautiful soul <laughs> that's that is classic zoe clark um real classic behavior so anyway what a fucking week do you have any ba- are you frozen <laughs> am i frozen you were just looking at me like she's still going <laughs> <laughs> i hate being on zoom now i feel like all like all that built up zoom etiquette that we built together I know. All over those like 4,000 episodes we had to do. I mean, we uh, even got to a point where it was like, yeah, we can do this. This is so easy, whatever. It's and then different. I sat down to try this time and I was like, this is so hard. This is this is an Ock McGrock, I gotta say it. It's so hard to be apart. I miss it's, I miss Zoe. I'm I miss us. <laughs> um, but I do though, because it's the sucks ass. But you know what? We are doing our part. I know. Plus I did see you for like mm, 20 minutes. Yeah, we definitely stood in a parking lot for 20 minutes. Don't tell the contact <laughs> tracers. No, we're both good. Um, so far, people oops. are really getting it late. You came here oh. for the um, COVID news, surely. Oh, yeah. Because you're yeah, not yeah. getting enough of it anywhere else. And if you're in LA oh. County, yeah. what are the numbers? Like, I don't know. We just started laughing every time we saw the it's, new numbers now. Like, oh, it's they, bad. They are big girls, they, they <laughs> can handle big- themselves. They can handle themselves. That's for damn They're sure. big girls. Yeah. They're right. really big. I, I drove past a testing tent. <laughs> mm. Like, then we are in some weird ass post-apocalyptic world. Anyway, I drove back at, past a testing Wait, tent. Sorry to literally interrupt you, even though you oh just interrupted yourself. Yeah. Um, testing tents, it's so wild now that they're like beautiful now. Beautiful like tents. Have, <laughs> like beautiful tents. At least in my neighborhood, they'll have like the most beautiful pop up where you can get a B12 shot or a test. And it's oh. like, great. This is so weird. Like, I've only gone there once. But I've never gotten a B12. I've never gotten a B12 either. Top off? But what do you call it? No, I call it a top off. If I did, <laughs> I'm impressed. I don't know. <laughs> I've had like half a beer. So this is getting wild. And I'm on coffee, which is my beer, so. Coffee at a 620 Benny? Oh, my God. Unless you want me to fall asleep in my supper later. I know. I don't. I'm going to make soup tonight. Oh, my God. I'm also having soup, but I pre-ordered Postmates because I knew I didn't want to do anything after this. <sighs> yeah, I know. I really take it out of you. Anyway, <laughs> do you have any bad boys on the block this week? <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, I can't wait to hear your huge chunk of Rama. Is this a clunky monkey? No. Okay, okay. You're I mean, right, maybe right. it is, but we can't okay. tell. We it's can't for the tell. listeners to decide on this line. You're right. Please sound off in the comments if this is a clunky monkey. <laughs> Please email Diane because she can take it. 
<laughs> yeah, Diane's been called the clunky monkey for years, so she's good. Yeah, but as maybe long, it's because I'm not wearing my glasses. I could blame. Oh, them. I don't know why I took them off to begin with. That maybe must be stairs. it. Who knows? Okay. Um, but who is anyway? Your bad boy? I really injured myself during Christmas. What'd you do? I mean, this was this was a real knockerama. Oh. I walked into a pillar in my aunt's house. Okay. I know. And it's like it, only what? aunts have pillars. I don't have a pillar. Oh my god, in my ants home. are absolutely obsessed with pillars. Is it a decorative pillar or is it purely structural? Oh, I'm sure it's decorative. There's no way that was structurally part of the Did it have like building. a nice loop at the top? Mm, I mean Oh, it was an exterior um, pillar. It's an interior pillar. Right. That's what I was imagining. And it's, hmm, I think it's, I want to say terracotta colored. Okay. That's a Should have saw it coming. Maybe you I'll, really should I, have. I may have a pick. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I really should have. But it was I mean, truly, truly one of those times where I thought my foot could have been broken forever. I was like, oh. I think this is it. Oh, you I think this is the time foot? I really knocked it. Yeah, I really bonked her. I bonked between my pinky and my ring. Oh, your ring toe? What's the (laughs) my ring toe? What else do you call it? It's the The ring toe. Fourth toe? toe? No, it's the ring toe. It's the ring toe. It's the one you want to get married with. You know, I I absolutely want to get married with it. When Diane got married the second through fourth times, she only had a ring on her pinky toe. Yeah, she wanted to. She wanted to flirt. You know, (laughs) she wanted, and that was ultimately the demise of that relationship. So, absolutely. Um. Well, that fucking sucks. Um, Message to all the viewers: Watch out for terracotta pillars in the Christmas season. (laughs) Yeah, can't believe we have viewers. Did I say viewers? You really did. Oh my god! Get off my back. It's oh, I also want to publicly apologize. <laughs> it really is. There we um, go. Sorry, I got them making a much better position. Maybe now. I'm happy for you. Um, I want to publicly apologize for confusing Olivia Wilde and Olivia Bunn. <gasps> oh my One god! One of the <laughs> deepest regrets of my entire life, and the thought of it, it honestly keeps me awake at night. So I just want to come out, come out clean, admit it. Yes, small Olivia mix up. I'm, I'm really trying to picture what either of them look like, which um, is bad, probably. Yeah, I don't think bad. too hard I mean, about it, you know. It's bad that I don't know what anyone looks like. You'll drive yourself in a tizzy thinking about Olivia's. I'm picturing a brunette. They're both brunette. It's like not to put a hair color with a name. Very yeah. brunette name. Yeah. Oh, if you are so right. Isn't Evil it though? Diane. I feel like Julia is kind of a brunette name too. No. I feel great. I feel like perfect. You're the only Julia in the entire world. Stop it. You are. Wait, except for the one dating Kanye West. Perfect segue. Oh my but, I mean, god. We, we have to get back to your bad boys in a second. Oh yeah, but, my yeah. bad boy in a second. But yeah, congrats to Kanye and his new girlfriend, Julia Davidovich. Me. <laughs> Same birthdays, now lovers. Okay, but I looked her up when you texted me like, Kanye has new girlfriend. And I was like, wow, this is huge. Um, I looked her up and it said she's still married. No judgment. Okay, well, perfect relationship, I guess. <laughs> I think dream relationship. What a way to start the year. <laughs> Fantastic news. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's like, look, it's a never-ending tsunami of nothing. Email Diana, if I that's know. true. Or the deepest thing yeah. you've ever heard. Um, Are we the new Demois? Email Diane. <laughs> We're really breaking the news. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here. Like, actually, it couldn't have been more last because um, obviously everyone has uh, Google alerts for Kanye West dating. So, yeah, absolutely. And so okay. does like, I'm pretty sure this probably came in through like Apple News, too. Oh, Apple News with the, Apple News really takes liberties with their push notifications. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this about? What are you doing? 
If, How do you do? I don't get, even think I have them turned on. Mm, oh, I do. Familiar. If I get any, if I get any before Thursday, we'll include them in Wilmer. Um, You're right. They really are strange. They're like, what the pandemic dash 2022 has taught us dash comma about what's to come. <laughs> <laughs> you're right it's really wild out there i i just like i wish i could recite any of the ones that i've seen it's just like it's what? never the actual news no it's not it's just like how tacos reinvented the something oh, or other and it's just yes. like oh you're connecting bungalows and tacos i have no idea how, where this is going at all right okay we're gonna let uh, you finish adjusting your mic a doodle really too <laughs> How long are we gonna have to do this really this is gonna be like a month stint max i mean if our numbies go down maybe it'll be okay at least we have like a big huge january with no holidays coming up i guess is that good <laughs> i don't know maybe people want <laughs> oh you mean fucking their parents dick so much oh my god i doubt it <laughs> i feel like that's the hugest spread <laughs> sucking your parents dick so much it's like yeah I mean, if anything happened over this holiday break, um, other than my kidney infection, which I'll get to. <laughs> oh, please. It's Ugh. people sucking their parents' dicks. Um, I've really been delaying serious you. serious viruses. It's fine. It's like, we're in a loosey-goosey, zoomy boomy. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, we really need a name for the first episode after the holiday taint trip. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> the like, episode after we? the taint that's it <laughs> yeah okay. this episode can be dr oz parentheses the episode after the date <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm never recording a podcast at 6 15 ever again on a monday on a school night this is this is unhinged behavior it really is i'm coughing up a storm i'm I mean... in my own bed Honestly, I feel like the Zoom episodes have a certain flair, and maybe people <laughs> really miss them. Also, really, oh, please, but it really takes a second to warm up. <laughs> yeah, it, more than a second. It may take three episodes, and then we'll be back to <laughs> sitting awkwardly in the same room. Ugh. Anyway, I had, I was, I went to the emergency room. <laughs> literally I I mean, yesterday which is i can't believe that was yesterday because it feels like a million years ago but per and you can track my symptoms via this podcast because i talked about my booty pain <laughs> and then i talked about my pelvic pain pussy. pussy pain so you can really track my symptoms and a real doctor would have texted me and been like hey listen to the pod you have a kidney infection but you know oh what God. doctors we just aren't like that anymore i was gonna say maybe we just don't have any doctors that listen to the pod that sucks if you're a doctor that is listening to this podcast my bloody urine is on your hands <laughs> um if you ask nicely i'll do that yeah. Anyway, I'm just pissed because I went to 14 trillion doctors. None of them diagnosed me correctly. And then I had to get an emergency room. I had to go to the emergency room. I heard someone share their parting wishes to their dying relative, which was like oh intense. God. Wait, what did they say? I mean, we don't have to put it <laughs> in. but <laughs> They were just like, you were so great when we were potty trained. I'm sorry. What? She? They were talking about like potty training his her daughter or something. I guess it was like her... I, I don't know if it was like her father or her grandmother. I don't know who she was talking to. But she got wow. intubated. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Yeah, it was a traumatic time. Um, but you know what? I got my antibiotics. I'm feeling so much better. I love antibiotics. Like, good boy. I mean, I think I should just keep them. Like, I mean, I'm obviously going to go through this whole set. But I feel like people should just be able to have antibiotics like you would have Advil. Email Diane. Is that how you make meth or something? <laughs> I mean, um, I think there are different antibiotics for different things, right? Okay, but the only thing I'm ever going to need one for is literally a urinary tract infection or equivalent. But there are, but there are different strains, are there not? And like, some I had of like them are a like... UTI, but a little bit deeper than that. <laughs> wow, Zoe is so deep. Her I'm UTIs so... run oh extremely my. deep yeah yeah it's not the a surface level uti is. oh you're right no 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 um, Talking all that bullshit. 
<laughs> what would kid, many... if if you were fucking Kid Rock and you were like, I can't have sex, I have a UTI, what would his reaction be? It's like, that's okay, baby, I can pull out. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> I was right. going to say, how many... <laughs> I'm very giggly right now. <laughs> Did you have a and coffee? I'm having a huge cough mama. Did you have a 10 milligram, 10 milligram? I did not. I mean, I had my huge CBT, CBT, CBD rama drink. Right. And I had the beer. So I can fucking focus. Um, yeah. Yeah. But wait, I can fucking focus. What were you talking about? No idea. But what were we talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I was going to say, how many UTIs has Kid Rock given to women? Oh, countless, right? I mean, 13, at least. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean. Yeah, definitely. He definitely says that to women after he fucks them and they don't come. <laughs> It's his calling card. <laughs> they yeah, don't come. Like, no, they definitely don't come. And then he's like, show me that smile. And they're like, you just gave me a UTI. Okay. Um, any other bad boys on the block? Did we beaver that? Like, I have no concept of time. Zoom is fucking with me. I was going to say, you were okay. in the emergency room. You were yeah, in yeah. the um, oh. other one. What's the other one? Urgent care. I went to care urgent sees. care. In a pandemic. Brave wow. alert. <laughs> Extremely brave. Thank you. And um, bravest of all, I went to a tell, I did a teledoc as well. <laughs> and they all told me something different. It was incredible. I loved it. <laughs> wow. I was like, oh, so it's wild. this. Oh, it's that. But then I was like, just give me fucking antibiotics and let me live my life. Oh, yeah. We were talking about how we should be able to make antibiotics in our own home and also administer them to ourselves. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, an important uh, side hustle I'm considering. I should, so. I should be able to get my UTI bullshit at one of those beautiful tents where oh, they you're give right. COVID nose tests. Plus, Oh, what I was going to say was the tent I drove by said new variant Delta. And I was oh, like, come on, get it's... your shit in line, please, guys. It's We're Omicron with a... season now. I... What's the next one? The ultimate question. Can't wait. Something we said in December already. However, it's like, can the memes stop about like, no. I it's mean, just... can this pandemic stop? <laughs> it's like, no. But also, I think the new year I do is without like... the memes. The new year is exceptionally bad for memes. Mm. Maybe that's why I'm feeling so exhausted by them. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just like, you're like 2021, 2022, it's all the same. <laughs> like, yeah, I know it's all the same. I'm living it. So My dream. <laughs> and then a celebrity um, dies and it's just like, oh, great. Oh, yeah, respectful badonk donk to Betty White. There's always one around the holidays. Good God. And there it really is. shakes everyone. Angel. There is. Yeah, Where's for sure. <laughs> um, Betty White. You did this so has, much. Did Betty did Be Betty White was Betty White. uh did he did she meet Mark Mark McGrath? <laughs> I think so, at least somehow. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, some way. Do you think that he posted a tribute? No way. Mm. Rock legends only. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, definitely not on the grid. Absolutely not on the grid. But maybe, I mean, has he sung Show Me That Smile? No, what's it called? The Golden Girls one. Oh, it's so close to that, isn't it? Um, it's so close to that. It's My like brain's broken. It is it definitely is. Show Me That Smile rising. <laughs> deeply broken now. Like, I know I smoke a lot of weed. I no, know I forget one... things. But like... Look. This episode, I, I mean, as always, you're welcome <laughs> to the people listening. Um, oh, we have some bad boy updates. Oh my god, so many bad boy updates. This is the biggest clunkerama. Okay, bad boy update number one. These are some bad girls in the news. I gotta say it. Glycerin, aka Galen Maxwell, was found guilty. <laughs> <laughs> and also gobbler i guess i guess so okay so she was found guilty of five federal charges 
Um, wow. Not yeah, all out of the six, out of the six she was charged with, the she was acquitted on a charge of enticing a minor to travel to engage in illegal sex acts. God. But she faces sixty-five years in prison, and it says Amazing. that she showed no reaction when the verdicts were read. Showed no reaction. Yeah. It is. Um. Email Diane. Okay. Um. I will. I will again. Just always a shout out to the courtroom artists because they really capture likeness in an incredible they really way. Do it beautifully. What a they wonderful do it beautifully job. with very few. Like not really. It's really the essence that they're capturing. Yeah. Email Diane if that's true. Um. Okay, another bad girl in the news. And this is hot off the press. Elizabeth Holmes has been found guilty on four out of 11 federal charges. Wow, that's <laughs> not that many. <laughs> it's not. She faces 20 years in prison as well as a fine of $250,000 for each count of wire fraud. Yeah. So that's like a million and change. That's a million and change. Okay. Also, also, I don't know. I mean, I guess she deserved that. I mean, yeah, I think so. For the fraud part. Yeah. All the frauding they did. Did, um, oh, whatever. Who cares? Did you have a good Christmas? I don't think so. They don't think so? <laughs> Do they, I don't you think, don't think so. she had a good Christmas at all? Okay. Um, look, it was probably a complicated Christmas. Um, Complicated Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait for the Netflix movie about her Christmas coming next year. A complicated Christmas. A Theranos <laughs> journey. <laughs> a very Theranos Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to turn on my heating pad. Wow. Have you said that in over a day now? No, because it's always on, baby. I don't have it right now, though. <laughs> I don't have it right now. We've both been weirdly dependent on heating pads. Yeah, it's a codependent relationship because it needs me to. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry for that amazing <laughs> shot of my crotch. That was a not lot my actual to crotch, take. but well, it was this like elevated pelvis el thrust definitely because elevated crotch. It was elevated. Um, you, just a little glimpse into how good I exercise. Oh, I was gonna say that. That's what yeah. I meant. Do you miss exercising together? Probably not. <sighs> Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. I love exercising alone. Yeah, I do. Well, I don't love exercising. I would never say that. Oh, I would absolutely never say that. But, <laughs> but oh, what I would God. say is if I have to thrust my pussy in front of anyone, it's going to be a ghost. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were going to say me, but that's sort of hurtful. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I'll live with that. <laughs> Okay, I guess we should move on to our bad boy of the week. Oh my god. Um, Can you believe it? I actually can. I feel like given the week I had with the medical professionals. Oh. I know, email Diane. But Same um vibe. Oh, absolutely email Diane any like bad doctor or dentist stories you have. Oh, we love these. Oh my Such god, a good I'm prompterama. Seeing... Seeing the dentist on Friday, early TV talk. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> really early. I mean, that's an early TV talk. I hope it goes smoothly. Smooth booth. I hope, I get to, I hope it's a smooth booth. I hope I get to watch um, Netflix because last time, did I already talk about this? I was like yeah, not going to put Netflix on because we were yeah, the only two people in the entire office. Yeah, you definitely told me about that. <laughs> I felt bad for my dentist. Look. Don't I'm feel sure bad you for your are... dentist. I'm sure you are one of the nicest patients there is. Stop! So polite. The ultimate Julia. The bitch. Um, no, they love it. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's move on to our bad boy of the week. He's a Mr. <sighs> I mean. He's a Mr. I don't know. Lie to your gal. Fad, fad diet your gal. Oh, he really is. Yeah. And the only thing that happens with fad diets is baby. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm so phlegmy. It's okay. I love that. Just like chock full of phlegm. A um, phlegmy, a phlegmy Remy. I'm a phlegmy Remy. I've, have yeah. you ever actually known a Remy in your lifetime? Yeah. Wait. Me too. Yeah, I think like I mean, but like not really. You know what I mean? Like a friend of a friend when I was like seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a friend of a friend yeah. when I was like seven. I feel great. Yeah. I feel like perfect. 
I mean, okay. that's what a Remy is. Also, the rat yeah. from Rat or Ratatouille. Wait, no, the kid from Ratatouille. I guess we'll put that kid from Ratatouille on the slider. I don't know yeah. what he looks like. He's not ugly. <laughs> he melt <laughs> in because he's definitely like made to look <laughs> ugly. Okay, we're talking about Doctor Oz. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say a lot of uh, Doctor Oz, but fad diets. Mm-hmm. It's like Diarrhea City. All those weird uh, pills. All I mean, they do is give you diarrhea. That's basically. The diet. I would love to go to Diarrhea City right now. Would you? Yeah. Spicy? Oh, won't you take me down to Diarrhea Looks like you're not City? Sleeping well. Oh. <laughs> Wow, he's a TBT. But unlike mm-hmm. Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz is actually a doctor. You're right. So he's done some nothing but respect days. to our essential <laughs> workers. <laughs> um, no, but he sucks. So he's 61. Oh, guess his net worth. <laughs> oh my God, so important. I'm going to say $24 million. A hundred million. Ugh, idiot. I know, he sucks. I wonder what his wealthy gorilla is like. Amazing. We'll have to. I mean, he definitely has a wealthy gorilla. If he has a hundred billion dollars, he has to have a wealthy gorilla. Guess I'm gonna have to look it up right now. Yeah, you're gonna have to look it up immediately. Wow, this is an extremely chaotic episode. <laughs> Whatever. Now, Doctor Phil is on here. Good life. Oh my God! Sorry, Doctor Phil's looks unhinged. I'm gonna send it to you. Okay, I can't wait. So I'm sorry we don't have Doctor Oz, but but we'll put Doc. We'll definitely put Doctor Phil's wealthy gorilla in Wilmer Slider on. I mean, like he wishes. It's her. Oh wow! Like if Doctor Phil was a vampire. Okay, this is not Doctor Phil's hair color. Doctor Phil's hair is wispy. It is light. (laughs) It's not. He looks sorry, like a. Wow, he looks like, like a real the, estate agent for sure. He's big real estate agent rising. He also the mustache, like at it. Mm. Okay, to give this artist credit, which th- that is what they are. They're an artist. Like <laughs> there is an absolute likeness to Doctor Phil, but this is like Doctor Phil fifteen years ago. You're right. It really is. And the fifteen though, I feel like this is Doctor Phil like twenty six years ago. Okay, you know Doctor Phil. <laughs> email dr <laughs> phil because i need his skincare secrets <laughs> me too beautiful uh, pores Can't beautiful even see pores them. no and it's definitely not the makeup he absolutely wears no shade um no shade i mean where that well he needs it so i mean not that anyone needs it everyone's beautiful when you love okay. somebody you want to defend them oh wow i think it's fine to keep his drop yeah i think so too he's not a good person no we know that um, he is an ASMR meatballs Baldwin, Meatballs every Sunday. He not is an meatballs ASMR. every Sunday. <laughs> he is meatballs every Sunday. He is not an ASMR Baldwin. And unfortunately not. What's the opposite? Because that's what Andrew Cuomo is. Okay. So, Dr. Oz got famous because he was a regular Doctorama on the Oprah show. Oprah Winfrey show, I should say. Oh, wow. It's unfortunate how many weird doctors have come from Oprah. <sighs> it is got that oprah kiss yeah he definitely got that oprah kiss um and he had his own show after he was a reggae on oprah he had his own show where he basically promoted fad diets spread misinformation about like it's like what's it called pop science where it's uh, like yeah, okay. this turquoise goji berry is going to make you lo- f- make you lose a million pounds, you know. And here we have the spokesperson of goji berries. Yes, yes. It's just um, like how do you do that? How do you get a spokesperson? How do you just get some person who speaks on these berries to come sit here and tell everybody that you can get diarrhea from these? Or they didn't I, really go out right with the diarrhea. He was He was sued with by the olive oil. It was like american <laughs> olive oil foundation because he Amazing. was he like was just talking about olive oil on his show and i guess like a lot of olive oil in the grocery stores are rancid this is what he was saying and jerry has said the same thing to me so i was like is this true or is this dr oz true which isn't true um oh, no imagine so he was agreeing. sued by them i mean imagine being sued by olive oil but imagine agreeing <laughs> with dr oz 
That's both are really bad. I don't know. Both are kind of a dream. Okay. Dream to be dream sue victim. Dream sue victim. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So in twenty fourteen the British Medical Journal found that mm. over half of the recommendations, over half of the recommendations right. that Dr. Oz made on his show um had no evidence to support them or directly contradicted research. Ugh. So I say keep his show on the air, baby. Yeah, I'm going to watch it till I die. I've actually never seen an episode of You Caught It Before. I don't think I have. No, but isn't there that new show that he's on? Like, what's it called? It's Who not knows? like The Doctors, but it basically is. Oh. That up. Is it that you know Canadian one? No, it is <clears throat> not Canadian. I don't know. Sorry, I don't follow Dr. Oz that close. Oh, well, the Dr. Oz show is still on, so I guess he's, you know, doing fine. Am I? It kind of like every time I've ever seen it on TV, to me, it looks like a soap opera happening. Like, it's just so the colors are so weird. Weird colors. I've literally never seen an episode. It has an IMDb rating of 4.1 out of 10, which kind of feels high to me, honestly. Mm, yeah. Um, I mean, target audience was women, apparently. I mean, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, I'm it's sure it is. TV. He definitely, it is. He definitely invited Trump on the show. Um, and like, do you remember when um, Trump? <laughs> do I remember when Trump? Do you remember when Trump? It is. It was like his fucking doctor when he was basically trying to say that he like oh my God. was in good shape and was like his doctor was like I did his physical and he's in excellent shape and his doctor is that guy and um, oh yeah we really have to put that guy in the slime. We absolutely do. Trump's um, weird doctor. So during that, Doctor Oz was like, "I'll read the physical and I'll give you my honest opinion." <laughs> I hate and this country sometimes. Dr. Oz was like, it's great. It's amazing. He's in great shape. Be kind to everyone. I mean, yeah. And I guess Trump is a really big fan of him, so much so that in 2018, Trump appointed Dr. Oz to the Council on Sports, Fitness, and Nutrition, which apparently yeah. is a government position. Who was that with again? It was like some sports dude. Oh, it was a sports dude. It was a. It was really a weird one. It was a weird like ex sportsman. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, cause I need to know. <gasps> Definitely. Um, Juchibu. Juchibu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Lou Ferrigno. Oh, yeah. Literally Lou Ferrigno. I mean, speaking of Kevin James, I feel oh, like okay. Lou was a regular on that show. Uh, King was of Queens. he? I think oh, my he, God. I, wow. If this... I'm wrong, you're Sue right. Me, olive oil. You're Did literally you right. Lou Ferrigno? Well, I clicked on him. I had to. And he was like, and the wiki says, of King of Queens fame. Yes. Partially. <laughs> Two wives. Okay, I mean, not currently, but in his life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, right. And in this year, in November 2021. No, wait, mm. that was last year. Okay, wait. Mm. In November 2021, Dr. Oz announced he's, <laughs> he's running for Senate in Pennsylvania as a Republican in 2022. And I was like, oh, fuck, the midterms are this year. Can you imagine anything worse? <laughs> I really can't wait. Did we get to go to the polls? Sorry, everyone. We get to mm -hmm. go to the polls. I can't wait we to go to the polls. We get to do that. Yet again. Um, oh, my God. Going to the polls is going to be amazing. I, can't, I fucking can't believe it's been two years, almost. We've never gone I mean, to the polls during coronavirus, so we have that to look forward to. Yeah, Are, we have. Wait, we have. We've literally have. voted for the president. <laughs> yeah. I have no sense of time. I know it's really well. That's because now. I voted by mail, aka fraud. So, yeah, I me. also fraudulently voted by mail. <laughs> so that's cool. Okay, and I love that. Yeah, I mean, and Diane fraudulently <clears throat> voted, so it's kind of the same. Place. With she signed it with her ass. Oh, she did. You yeah, can't do did. that. They she actually that, signed it can't. with somebody else's ass, and that is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so out of the interesting medical claims that Dr. Oz has made on his show, 
he in 2012 had like a conversion therapy episode <sighs> where he invited people on both sides uh to discuss what this an issue important thing to do dr oz um and the first part of the entire show it was like the first two segments of the show were basically the pro conversion therapy side offering no rebuttal to it and it wasn't until after like the first half of the show that the quote unquote other side the anti conversion therapy side um was given chance to speak does it sound like i'm pro conversion therapy because i'm obviously not Zoe is so pro conversion <laughs> therapy. It's all she thinks about. It really I think that's is. obvious to everybody. But I guess there were like other organizations who were on the show, like Glad and like other like LGBT organizations, wrote a letter being like "fuck you, Doctor Oz," and Doctor Oz was like, hey man, "I just, just feel to like science." Yeah, he was like, I feel like if we're trying to show people, you know, what is righteous and what isn't, he didn't say righteous, but he like big righteous energy over there. Um, we I'm have to show would. them both sides, basically. It's like, do we? Let the no. news do that. You're literally no, Dr. We... Oz. Talk about your diet berries, <laughs> <laughs> your fruity pebble berry diets. Talk about your fat blasting fruity pebbles. <laughs> I agree. Um, but also dope because that's pretty <sighs> harmful. <laughs> I saw some gross post in Reddit that was like, I my son put um, a bunch of trick cereal. I think that's what it was. Or some gross fruity pebble bullshit mm -hmm. in his ant colony. And all oh. the ants brought out their dead ants and put a bunch of dead ants across it. Wait, what? Why would they do that? Email Diane. That sounds delicious. Is that something they do when they eat too much sugar? Were they on a sugar? Were they having a sugar high? I don't know. It's just like, did you think that you could regenerate your dead ants by putting sugar on them? Dead ants? <laughs> Maybe that's so sad ants? if they did. Ant friends? Yeah. Anyway, um, did you eat sweet, sweet cereal sweet growing up? No, that was like a fun snack time thing. Yeah, I don't really mm, like dreamer. sweet cereal. Okay, huge, huge question. Grape nuts love them same they're so good we'll definitely put they're those in the slimmer so fucking good i should have ordered them when i ordered groceries <sighs> you poor thing you like who doesn't like diarrhea town for sure if you're not prepared well i prepare maybe put some banana in there yeah, slow it I'm down a bit i'm obviously gonna put some banana in there i'm not just gonna do straight <laughs> grape nut to the dome it's definitely not a snacking cereal <laughs> Straight grape nut, <laughs> grape nut to the Joan. That's a new drop. I really like it's, that. Okay. We can <laughs> pop that in there. Um, it's not a good snacking cereal. Like It's like you have to like, what, shovel it into your mouth? It's like if that's the only sweet thing you have in the house and it's midnight and you're hungry, it's like I'm going to wake up to diarrhea town, but fine, I guess. You cannot snack on grape nuts. It's impossible. My name is Julia Davidovich and I can snack on grape nuts. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Like, listen, if you put any cereal in my clutches, I'll eat it all. You can eat like, that Like, you could dry? put Frost and Flakes. Yeah, duh. No, not dry. I'll put some that's what I'm, almond milk on that's it. That's what I'm saying about snacking. Okay. Snacking is shoving your hand. Snack. Shoving your hand. No, it doesn't. Shoving your hand <laughs> in the box and eating it dry. That's snacking on cereal. I guess we have a new poll for the slider because we are not slider, but stories because we obviously have a different opinion on what snacking can be. Can obviously, you don't think that it'll be a snack. No, that's a meal. <laughs> yes, it can. No, it can. That's a... Whatever. Who so... doesn't love a soggy bowl of cereal? Sorry, a next egregious thing to piss you off. Okay. Soggy cereal is my favorite. <laughs> and you need no, it. Obviously. I like grape nut, obviously, for the delicious taste. That's why I like grape nuts. <laughs> And texture because it's texture. so raw. It's so hard. It really is so hard. It's really I the feel like... kernel of the cereal cereal market. <laughs> it's such a kernel. Uh, so good though. Huge cluster rama, but like tiny clusters. Little so diarrhea small. clusters. But they will get like if you have a cavity. Oh, they will clunk right in there, and they'll f they'll fester for a bit. Mm, you're right. They'll clunk and fester. Just That's like the grape nut promise. <laughs> absolutely so in addition to all of that shit dr oz um has 
been not great about COVID predictably. He promoted, promoted, he promoted the use of hydroxychloroquine over 25 times on Fox nice. <laughs> um, before nice. it had been proven to help, which it ultimately was not authorized by the FDA or like it was. And then they were like, actually, it doesn't do it. I don't know. Something like that. He also in his when he announced his run for 2021 so now he's a politician um he called for fauci to retire and he opposes vax vaccine regulations nope vaccine Amazing. requirements the perfect doctor honestly almost <laughs> a flawless senator for pennsylvania yeah also you i guess a lot gonna of make it far oh he not in pennsylvania though i'm worried i don't know there's a lot well, of there's a lot of America in Pennsylvania. I guess you're right. It's almost like, all America. I guess I'm worried. I could be worried. <laughs> yeah, he's, I could be I don't want to be worried, but I could be. Like the fact that he's on Senator Watch is not great. Talking all that bullshit. And then this was a people. fun little factoid. Um, he was sued by his sister for allegedly withholding rental income that they were both supposed to get from an apartment that was owned by their father and then he died so i guess he died and left the apartment to them and he so i guess dr oz is a landlord as well i was gonna say so he's a landlord perfect he's a so landlord he's a doctor dick. yeah amazing landlord do landlord dr oz landlord dr oz um okay i think oh also just noting that um trump really listened to dr oz and uh, is a big fan. Oh, and amazing. because Dr. Oz was like promoting hydroxychloroquine, Trump was like all about it and was like telling people to get it and shit. So, you know. Perfect <laughs> presidency, I guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. Absolutely Do you miss it? Flawless. Oh, every single day. I'm like, every day. I'm like, I miss it. Every day. <laughs> every day I miss waking up to his like, I don't know carousel of anger in the morning at whoever it is it's just like and oh, great but donk 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 to marjorie taylor green who got banned on twitter oh no so she's practically dead <laughs> you poor thing congrats um i think we're good let's shut the door on dr oz oh, we have to mention the mark Wahlberg. oh the mark Wahlberg. And this was just like a line on his Wikipedia. Oz has spoken in favor of the disputed practice of intermittent fasting. He became involved with the feud. <laughs> he became involved in a feud with actor Mark Wahlberg over not eating breakfast and took part in a push-up challenge, which Wahlberg won, obviously. I cannot. I mean, <laughs> you can't look at... You can't on, look at... Yeah. Oh! Feel it, feel it. Feel it, feel it. For a sec, I was looking for it for a while. I was like, I got to get it in there, baby. Oh, you found it. Um. All right, now let's shut the door. All right. All right, all right. TV talk. Whoops. Shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. We also Chaos. have not, I know, we haven't potted in like two weeks either. Yeah, let Over us two, live. like 15 days. I know, and then before, oh, you're right, because it's a Monday. It's a Monday. It's a Funday Monday. The devil Sunday. The devil Sunday. Monday. It is. So that explains this episode. And why we know about Theranos and Yeah, this explains why we know about Theranos. We're not we don't know like things in the courtroom before they happen. Don't we though? That'd be cool. Okay. Every day. So do you have any good boys this week? Oh my god. I kind of feel like I have a few, but I'll I can only remember one right now. Okay. Bad boy, I'm Fleming. I don't know why. It's probably all my cough. I have a nice sip of coffee to fix that. It is 7.07, .07, just so everybody knows the time that she is having this sipple of dipple. However, I can still absolutely fall asleep during a movie <laughs> after having a coffee. <laughs> Julia's At big about promise. 10 Julia's huge promise. Um, so, yeah. Do you want to watch a movie with me? Better get comfortable with me falling asleep on your couch. Beautiful. Um, well, we have a joint good boy. Oh, yeah. Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Okay. Pod listener Hex Positive on Instagram 
gave us a five star rating on what spotify oh my god and she'll be receiving a diane pin overseas that accent does not give away where she lives so we're all about privacy here um (laughs) and yeah so thank you hex positive for leaving us a five-star rating on spotify it changed the course of my year me too and And i I don't want to say that year. no totally new year so that's a good boy also good boy um my aforementioned issues with the plumbing um i've started drinking cranberry juice and i used to drink it all the time growing up i loved cranberry juice like god you heard it here last not not cocktail like pure 100 percent tart as fuck bitter cranberry juice like i love that shit you're just like mom has uti good news for me yes so i'm drinking cranberry juice again and i feel great Kind of a flex to say that you loved cranberry juice at such a young age. Just an acquired taste. What a random gal you are. I guess I don't like it sweet. What a quirky, quirky bitch. I also drank a lot of berry punch. Oh, what? You ever have berry punch? Never. It's like a more sophisticated fruit punch. Who makes it? Like a Minute Maid or like a Trop. No, it's Tropicana. Ah, like a Tropicana or a Minute Maid. Tropicant. Eh. Tropicant. Eh. Okay. Um, do you have any good boys, by the way? You oh, said yeah. you had. Oh, you. Frother. Your frother? Mommy's new frother. Oh, you got a new one. Tell me about it. Gone for Christmas. Oh. I like hadn't replaced that old bitch because I was afraid that A, I was going to get the same one and I was going to also drop in the sink and ruin it somehow. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Is it the same button fits her? <clears throat> no. It's a, it's like, I'll put in the slimer. It's like a little independent Wendy. Oh, Ooh. beautiful. She, she's like a plug-in and like, I don't have to stand there and do it. Cause like, I've seen those ones that literally look Is it like, like a, f- <laughs> yes, but it's silent. Silent but deadly? Silent you but can frothy? Do silent but deadly. <laughs> you can do silent but frothy. You can do a cold. You can oh. do warm. Ooh. You could do a little bit of foam or a lot of foam. Okay. Fancy. Extra foamy. Extra foamy, not so extra foamy. Um, I've mostly just been doing hot foam. Okay. Whatever. Look. But like she it's a seven and forget it. That's amazing. <laughs> I love her. Wow. So you've been Am making I glowing foam right now? <laughs> <laughs> you are. The way you the way you light up when you talk about your frother, it's beautiful. <laughs> um that's extremely exciting. So yeah. Just, you know, have you done any experimenting? Have you done, like, when you make, like, an iced coffee, do you put iced foam on there? No, I've honestly only done hot foam because it's been so cold in the mornings here. It has been. It's basically basically minus 100. (laughs) It basically is minus 100. Do you (laughs) sprinkle cinnamon atop? You know what? I've been putting lavender sugar on top. (laughs) Oh, my God. That sounds like, it doesn't not taste like soap. No, it tastes very lovely. I'll put some granules in the fucking slimer for you. Okay, I'm sure people and are going to be, be in the, thoroughly pissed off. People are going to be in the comments like, "Oh my god, I got lavender silk milk because of you," um, and I just want to say I do not co-sign. Um, if Borson came out with a lavender flavor, would you eat it? No, <laughs> I would boycott the company. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> they can't. Not on my watch. Okay, let's I'd move on it. to TV talk. Mm, can you believe it? There's so much TV talk, I think. TV talk. There is. Oh, there, there is. is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, so I know from your Instagram story that you have not finished <laughs> Emily and Patty. No, um, I mean, it's pretty bad, though. It's so bad. Did you know that it's supposed to rhyme like that? No, you're supposed I to pronounce it, it. Emily. You're supposed to pronounce it Emily and Puri. Horrible realization for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, right. but that's something I, you can't unhear. Slash, it unlearn. really, it really was hurtful when I first saw it a year ago when season one came out. Because I'm a real fan. Um, <laughs> yeah, God. this season was pre- predictably bad. I would say, but so good. Sure. Yeah, it really is. I mean, her French is as bad as ever. I mean, 
I don't like, I don't, I, it's hard because on one hand, I hate every single character on the show. No one is really redeemable. Oh God! In the singing, this episode, this like season, the singing this season, it was the too- mime. I have the to put the mime, mime in the slimer. I want to kill that guy. Put the mime in the slimer. <laughs> it's just like, and every other shot is a shot of the Eiffel Tower. I feel like I saw someone else say that, but it is true. You're you're not wrong. Yeah. Um. So I would say absolutely watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that a five so star promise from Zoe. It Have you been loving Ninety Day Fiance? I fucking fucked up and have not seen last night's episode. You fucking bitch! Is I'm it exciting? Kidding. Sure, they all are. Yeah, I mean, I'm still learning which couples I should fast forward through. That's really what the first like four or five <laughs> episodes are for, and then you could be like, okay, I'm gonna fast forward through them. The Usman and Kimba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yeah. That great. <laughs> not that great she's i mean it's not as fun as yet i mean maybe this next episode she's not as fun but next episode maybe okay they they teased some good drama there are a lot of good moments of um is it is her name lena I yeah her name yeah alina uh, and caleb friend yeah caleb does he no, get caleb. worse he's so bad but um her friend elijah what's his name again elijah i love elijah I'll we'll definitely know. put Elijah is, on the slimer. Is, does he think that Caleb is filled with red flags? Yes. And he's pointing Aww. them all out. But like it's they're not doing it very tactfully, I will say. Okay. And maybe well, it's because it's a produced television program, but like there's a there's a little no, tact involved. I think if you want to manipulate this potential boyfriend into admitting things, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, you met you spiced it up. I'm ready for this next episode. I'll watch tomorrow. I'm morning. Um, okay, I have a TV talk. Ooh. It's actually a movie booby. Oh my god. Has Zoe it's watched a movie? More than one. Isn't Goodness. that fucking That's next huge for level Zoe. shit? It's um, hard enough I for watched, me. They were both on Netflix though, so it was like so easy. I watched Don't Look Up and I watched it's um I just can't a lot of a, it's like a lot of <laughs> commitment. That's that's the thing. Did that's you why TV is a lot easier. No, I oh, haven't. Yeah, it's whatever. Did you love it? No, but I did love Tick Tick Boom. <laughs> I oh my god, I really that tried. you do need to. You didn't. You couldn't watch it. I got through three quarters of it. What? And I'll finish it, but I don't like it. Oh my god, that's that's unbelievable to me. It's teens. Why would I like teens? Tick Tick Boom. They're basically teens. Well, they're in their twenties. Sure, which but is like. like- yeah, it's a little. It's definitely. It's definitely team rising. I mean, wow. Not, I don't know. Not my. Favorite. I'm disappointed in myself. Most teen shit, man. I don't know. I love teen. You know, I love teen shit. You just uh, not in a gross way. I do. <laughs> not um, in a gross way. My name is Zoe Clark. My name is Zoe Clark, and I like teens in a normal, healthy, regular way. But Jer's a big fan. Oh, he is. Hold on. Let me put the dog out there so we can have dinner. Put the dog out there. Let me take a huge pee. You know what I hate? Hmm. What? When you realize like a plant that you put somewhere is not getting enough light. Oh, yeah. I've killed a few plants this season and I've never killed plants before. I mean, shut up. <laughs> I have killed plants before, but never to the extent. Not like, uh, you know, like you're doing plants, a lot more murdering. Plants die. You know what I mean? But I've never I feel like I've never killed them. Yes, and plants die, but I never these... kill them, sure. Yeah, my name but is Zoe Clark. Of, my name is Zoe Clark, and some of these I did kill. <laughs> Unfortunately. I, it's like you, f- you feel like a failure. You're like, what the fuck? Like, how did I notice you weren't getting enough sun? It's like this. Here, I'm going to text you this. It's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. It's like, do you have any other TV talks, by the way? <clears throat> um, oh, Dexty's still going strong. Oh, you it's still taken... love Dexty really some weird turns are did you is he still um, killing oh yeah he's still killing and his son's involved in the killing oh he's killing with the son now i like that that far okay (laughs) so your text tone wow beautiful plan we'll put this in the slammer (laughs) is it the saddest (laughs) thing you've ever seen wow this thing's just like holding on a single wilted leaf 
Um, it does so, not want to be alive anymore. Put this no, thing down. No, it doesn't. I'm going to put it down. But I'm also sort of enjoying the thrill of watching it slowly die. Oh, Email die. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> it's like falling apart limb by limb. Um, so that's been Every cute. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day it's actually dying quite slowly. It could pick up the pace a little bit. It would be more exciting. But hey. What's the easiest plant to think? Aloe? Pothos. Ah, uh, you're right. That thing I just think. like fucking grows that thing in just water. It fucks itself constantly. It does. It really, in a good way. really does. We'll put some in the slimy, I guess. Yeah. So, beginner plant owners, get a pothos. You won't regret it. Um, you will never regret it. You won't. You won't. Okay. I'm going to joink it up unless you have any other TV talks. Mm, I think we can yoink her down. I want some soup now. Yeah, I'm ready for soup, which I have to make, but it's going to be so spicy. Good. It's going to be corn soup. It might be spicy. Oh, it will be spicy. She's having what? a corny night. I guess if you know, remember to take a picture of that because I want to put that. I'm going to put a. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to put like make like a little black bean schmagoogle Ooh. to like dollop <laughs> in the middle. You know, to be like Ooh, yummy a schmagoogle oh dollop. God. Your big chowder bowder. Uh, it is a chowder. It is a spicy. So it's like a chowder night. It's like a spicy coconut chowder. I think it's a New York Times recipe. Um, I use my mom's subscription. Do you think Jer will take a picture and then put in his Instagram stories chowder night? If he doesn't, he doesn't love you. Okay. I don't think he does because he only puts his own for the food that he cooks in his Instagram story. It's Damn, true. Jer, Look, that's cold. He doesn't even listen to this. Jared, that's cold. It's cold. Well, so if you're not like my husband, leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts oh, or or get this. You can leave us a uh -oh. five-star review on Spotify now, but you oh can't review. God. I think it's just a rating. Oh, that's not fair. I'd love, I cannot wait for the new reviews I if know. we ever get to hear them from Spotify listeners. I want to read. But I um. Read. Absolutely. Um, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Send us a screenorama of your review, and we'll send you a Diane pin. Be like hex positive, um, because that was just a Spotify five star rating. And guess what? They're getting a pin. So suck on that, everybody. Um, email ba Diane at badboypod.com. Whatever. Oh Whatever. wait, we got that really nice email. Oh yeah, maybe we, we have to read that. This part in. I think we could just pop it right here, whatever. Okay. So this is an email that Diane got from a incredible listener named William. The subject line is my failed five-star attempt. Oh, Dear best podcast ever. Longtime listener here, turkey gobble addict, evil witch, fan of Diane, and proud diarrhea story <laughs> veteran. What a beautiful list of accomplishments, William. Thank you. God damn, have I wanted to leave y'all a five-star review since forever. Oh, the kitschy things I'd say. I have attempted multiple avenues, methods, and even approaches to delivering the absolute heftiest maximum star excellence that such talent as y'all's rightly deserves. All other podcasts are just wiping their ass. And even though I have no direct evidence, I know that's true. It's true. You're right. I know. I mean, listen, I, I can toot my own ass for one second. And say we're probably the best podcast ever. I guess this is technically a bad boy on the block. Yeah, this is technically a bad boy on the block. But Let's put William's this in the bad boy on the block section. Okay, yeah, we'll put it you're right. I don't this know, is complicated. Hard. This is complicated. We're just going to leave it here, and you guys can duke it out in the comments. Okay, to leave a review, fucking iTunes demanded that I make an account. Okay, so I did. What was supposed to be a straightforward account creation affair sent me headfirst into a login spiral. I had to log into my work account, but to do that, I had to be sent a push, which meant I had to download the Duo app, which meant I had to log into my Yahoo account via Google, and on and on, and I logged in. William, I just feel like you went through the ringer on this, and I appreciate you so much. I know. Um, Imagine having to download another app. I would have never done this for a podcast. Who are you? Showtime? Seriously. Once I had navigated that shit show, I returned to iTunes. It was then when those fuckers demanded my debit card information. I ain't got no money. It was the final straw. In a fit of gay rage, I hurled my bullshit Himalayan salt crystal against the apartment wall and fluttered my effeminate wrists about my meekly priced residence like passionate lib libidness, libidness, libidness. 
chickens. William, two big <laughs> words. Is there another way or another page on which to leave an immaculate yet oozing five-star review? Is Femme Forever Ivermectin to the Patriarchy? P.S. Diane. My favorite spice. P.S. Diane. My favorite spice is dill, too. Great. Um, so fuck that experience for you, William, but I appreciate the strong effort you put in. Um, and you know what? If you want a Diane pen, you know where to get one. From Diane's pouch herself. From Diane's um, pouch. She's definitely got a fanny pack filled with little pins to give out you can always give a five star i guess now on spotify yeah you can do which that is incredible William. i want to hear everybody's favorite spice but mostly if it's still honestly yeah only if you agree get us diane t shop at badboypod.com um follow us at bad boy podcast if you want whatever i'm chill about it and you know don't listen to dr oz for diet advice i'd say well, I'm going to do it. Oh, wait. Did Dr. Oz and Mark McGrath meet? No. Hmm. Kind of feels like they might have, but probably Oh, not. okay. Do you think he's probably watched it at least one time accidentally? Yeah. He'd yeah. Take, he mean, would definitely take Dr. Oz's advice. If, if the was robot like, was on the other side of the room, he's not going to get up to turn it off. You're right. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. That's and he would, for you. he would eat those berries and get diarrhea. I love to hear stuff like that. Okay. So until next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this. Yeah, so do I. Whatever. We won't be zooming for long. Well, we'll see. Right, guys? We're going to zoom into the oblivion. It'll be fine. Can't wait for the goji berry variant. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Goji berry, very. We're all going to lose Very weight. delish. To you, my lady parts. <laughs> <laughs>